We are continuing now our coverage of the murder of Danishka Mejia. You may remember Knoxville police responded to a shooting on Gilbert Lane on April 5th. Mejia was found dead. Two others shot, but police say they are expected to survive. Now, KPD also saying it's believed Mejia did not die from a gunshot wound. In the following days, we learned Mejia reported on April 4th she was a victim of sexual assault, and she named Ladawin Osborne as the perpetrator. Now, we know Osborne, one of the four suspects that have been indicted in connection to the murder. Now, in light of what allegedly happened to Mejia, Six in Your Side reporter Molly O'Brien takes a look at resources available to victims of sexual assault. Like both of you mentioned, the Knoxville police say Danishka Mejia was killed just one day after reporting she was a victim of sexual assault. The Sexual Assault Center of East Tennessee serves as a resource for victims of sexual assault. We're told they serve 13 counties, including Knox County. According to the state of Tennessee, one in three women will experience sexual assault here in the United States. What we are seeing on our end here at the Sexual Assault Center, um, just to kind of put it into perspective, we're getting one to ten calls a day. Lacey Bradley with the Sexual Assault Center of East Tennessee tells us they offer several resources for victims of sexual assault. At the Sexual Assault Center, we have advocacy and we have a therapy center. We have um, SANE nurses, so the specially trained nurses who provide the um, sexual assault exams. And then we also have education outreach. The Sexual Assault Center of East Tennessee, hospitals and law enforcement work together to best assist victims. We get calls from hospitals, we get calls from law enforcement, we get calls from individuals in the community from, the, like, from their own phone call to us. So I would say it's a little bit of a mix. Um, and then if we are the first to get the report, obviously we are the ones to provide those additional resources if they want to report. If a victim decides to pursue charges, Bradley explains that the center has contracted nurses to do the exam. All of those exams are done very carefully um, with trained staff on hand to help with any, um, any of the trauma factors that come into play. The center has a crisis hotline and sexual assault nurse examiners available 24 seven. I want every county to know that we're here and um, ready to serve around the clock 24 seven. Um, there's always going to be someone here for emotional support. There's always going to be someone here to help establish what resources are appropriate and how to move forward. Bradley tells us that the center offers resources for victims as long as they want them and they're free of charge. Don. All right, Molly, thank you. As for the murder case of Denisha Mejia, Ladawin Osborne, Marquise Ellis, Edward Wilson are all due in court on Friday. And all three are facing charges, uh, including first degree murder. We, of course, will be in the courtroom and we'll bring you the latest update in this case.